morning and welcome back everybody to another Subi Shays video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind guys. Squad goals. Subi smiles to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you got yourself something cold and caffeinated and delicious and a comfy chair. I really hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video at the start of the video. I'm going to start trying that because I know that the community in general doesn't necessarily always love unboxing videos. But I want to still do the review, guys, and have you guys see the stuff come out of a box. I know there's something special about something as it comes out of a box. And when we talk about something special coming out of a box, what could be more special than a flat bar Ender's Speed Razor, guys? This is a late model Ender's Speed Razor, weighing it at 17 grams. It was a razor produced in the United States of America, right? In Connecticut, just down the street from me, which is really cool to me. It's like a it's like a it's like a home state razor for me, guys. A home state razor. This is a razor I do not own. My buddy, Jim Seller, guys, he sent me this to test drive. He said, you know what? Let me put you in a Ferrari dealership. Let me send you the keys down to the Ferrari California and you can give it a test run, guys. I feel like Ferris Bueller. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like I have that red Ferrari red razor in my hand very limited this is the flat bar again guys there is not a whole lot of information on the flat bar razor most enders razors as we will talk about look like this guys they have an open bar or i mean an open um comb um bar right they have the teeth whereas this one does not it is a later model edition that has the mark the, the kind of the knurling like this rather than the flat knurling and it also has the enders logo across the the front of the razor. Really cool weight model enders here with the flat bar. Very interesting, very unique piece, a light razor in that. And honestly, it's beautiful, like this dark, dark cherry red, really pretty. And we get to use it today. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do my best to contain it is at least a little bit, right? But I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You, some of you may be triggered because the excitement levels here are high. I've got um, a new way to load this. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I'm really excited. Today's gear, guys, we're using Pangolini, Pagolini, Pangolini, I don't know, the, the, the P1, the violin scent from B&M. I like this, and I think the, the label really works with the gear today. I really like this label. I can't tell you anything on the scent. I'm not going to try to. It is like, it smells like almost like berry to me, but then it's clean. It's the weirdest, oddest, strangest, nice smell I've ever had in my life. It's weird. But it smells nice. I can't, I'm not even gonna try to explain the scent. It is a weird scent, but it's really good. We're gonna go and use our body brush, guys. As you saw unboxed, we are now going to hopefully be working a little bit with body. I had never used a body product before. So today when I unboxed it, I was like, let's see how this goes. Guys, the brush, look at how big this brush is compared to my head. Look at the brush size compared to my head. It is a 30 mil, 30 mil badger brush here, guys. 30 mil badger. It is absolutely just dense. It, it holds all the lather in my PAA scuttle, guys. All the lather, all the lather in my PA scuttle. I'm having a hard time even getting lather out of my scuttle at this point. It's all loaded into this massive, look how big this brush knot is. Look at this thing, guys, it's huge. It's beautiful, it is monstrous, and it's already on the dome, guys, look at this. I just really wanna showcase, it has like a, a shiny, shimmery spot inside here that you can kind of see through. It's a hybrid and it's just so pretty. I really am shocked. I am absolutely amazed. There's no like little grooves or anything on the handle. It's perfectly made. Like it doesn't have like, any edges or anything like that as like, you get with some of the hybrid handles. And look at it paint on guys. Look at it just paint on. It holds so much. I bet you I get three shades out of this, just like this. Ah, yes. Really awesome, really cool. And I really hope that we get more information out about body because they're making stuff, guys. They're making stuff that is just phenomenal. You guys, look, it's just, it, it really does hold the lather so well. It's gonna hydrate and keep it nice and um, slick while keeping the heat in that knot. Really, look at the shimmer of that stuff. Absolutely awesome. I love this and I want to get more information out about body because I don't see their stuff hardly ever And I really think they make a beautiful uh, uh, knot guys really pretty uh, brush handle really pretty. Okay Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Jim Seller sends us this guys. I'm so thrilled But as I was trying to load it, I ran into some problems What I used to do is just sit the blade on the actual ender speed blade and slide it in That's how I usually do it with these guys does not work with this one. It, it binds up and gets, it gets stuck. Like 10 million times it got stuck. 
So what I did is I put the razor down, I set the blade into the razor, get it all fit up against the towel, and then I just slide my backer blade in and then kind of adjust it to be the exposure I want. Very simple, it takes about one minute to do, and it's way easier than trying to fiddle with the blade and going into it and things like that. So that's how I did it today. We're using some Chic Persona, or Chic Yellows. You guys, these are the Chic Yellows. First swipes, first swipes. This razor is extraordinarily, extremely more mild than the original. Um, I do uh, have some photos going on the side here. I did weigh them side by side, guys. I did weigh them. I'm actually really impressed. I didn't get a single um, not a uh, hair that came out of my brush. Not a single hair on my... No, we didn't lose one hair from the brush. Cool. Um, yeah, so this is a razor that's a little bit lighter. It's 17 grams compared to my Blue Enders, which I believe is uh, nickel-coated brass, which is kind of an oddball. And this is at like 29 grams. And then my Standard Enders, which is the aluminum one, just like all the others, that's like 24 grams. So this is about 50% lighter. Wow, it's so smooth. It really is very... I actually think this is a little bit, like, I mean, not a little bit. It's a lot smoother, guys. It's a lot smoother than my um, standard open comb. I like this a lot. This is way smoother ride. Wow. This is really cool. What an opportunity to post on YouTube with a flat bar enders, guys. A flat bar enders. So most of the time you see these with the open comb. You don't ever see them with this flat bar. This is a kind of a mystery why these exist, how they came about, and why they stopped doing it in flat bar and why there's not very many of them in the flat bar. We don't know. Really interesting, very cool. Just a little like enigma, like a little obscure enigma. Um, very comfortable shaver. I actually think it's a little bit better for me with the flat bar. I like the way it feels against the skin. It is mild yet fairly efficient. We are sitting on 23 hours right now. I am getting a shave guys, this is I mean, wow, I really like that a lot, really a lot. I would not say this is as efficient as the open comb variation for me. With where I sat the blade, uh, it, it pretty much sits where the OEM blade would have sit. And I don't think it's as efficient as my blue one or my black one from the earlier generation models. Very smooth, extremely smooth. I love the hand, um, the handle. The handle makes it so that when you're holding it, right, you hold it like this, and you put your thumb just like that, and it like it really holds well. Like, look at it, how it's taking it down too. Take a look at all that stubble coming off, guys. Really cool razor. Really, I mean, wow, what a cool opportunity. What a like what a leprechaun kind of dancing experience this is. This is. Like, I'm doing the pot of gold dance right now. This is amazing. The shave is really good. Honestly, the shave is, is, it's second to none. I mean, really, honestly, it's very good. If you're looking for the mild shave, this is definitely it. Wow, really nice. Really good shaver. You can see I'm doing some buffing strokes. I'm really like, I'm pushing the razor here and it's really not gonna bite me. It doesn't feel like, you know, bitey. It doesn't feel rough. Oh, this is so cool. The story of this is Jim found it in an antique store, guys, at an antique store. How many of us have been to antique stores and all we find are Rolls razors, right? The Rolls stropping itself razor. Not this, not Jim, man. Jim's got the luck of the Irish on his side, guys. He's got the luck, man. He's he's like, hey, guys, look what I found at the antique store. And all the Enders guys were like, what? Excuse me? Was the antique store a code word for a museum? Wow, this is really, really cool. It's a very, very smooth shave. I can tell you that much. Very smooth. Very comfortable. And I am going in and doing like a lot of buffing. I think the one thing is I'm fine with this is it's extremely friendly. It's a very friendly little razor. That is for sure. Very friendly. Oh, what a shave. What a really, really awesome, comfortable shave with something that you just don't see. I don't know if I would say it's like drastically better on the shave than the open comb. Like I think the open comb gives me a faster shave, but this is a little bit more comfortable. This is a little bit more comfortable than the open comb shave. It's smoother. It's a lot smoother of a ride, but I don't know if that's just because it's the later model. Uh, really, I've heard a lot of people kind of comparing and discussing the differences. 
of the late model versus the early model enders. Oh man, this brings a smile to my face. This is just sweet. Just a nice three pass kind of razor. You're gonna have some cleanup, you're gonna have some pickups. But as you get into that proto lather and you're just kind of finishing up, man, it really just performs. It performs really well. Wow. I'm able to shave over like bumps and ridges and um, like the bony part of my head really easily. Really easy. You can see it's still picking stuff up. Oh yeah, really good shave. Really nice shave. A little more right here where we typically have more stubble. Really just absolutely, abs it's absurd. I can change the angle of it. I can go like this, right? I can go like more steep. More steep is even just as good. I mean, there's not an angle I don't like on this. This is just absolutely fantastic. What a shave. What a very, very, very comfortable close shave. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's really cool, guys. Really cool. Jim, thank you so much, my friend. Huge shout out to Jim for making this a possibility. I did reach out to Jim when he posted, and I was like, buddy, just so you're aware, don't get fleeced. Don't let the razor go. It's And if you are going to let it go, sell it to me. <laughs> I was like, you sell that son of a gun to me. That is just like, I mean, this is like using, like, I don't know, like a fairy tale creature. This is like finding, like, you know, a unicorn or, you know, like, pot of gold. Like I said, a pot of gold is like, I'm going to do the leprechaun dance here shortly. That was really an awesome opportunity to get a BBS shave with something that is so obscure. We don't really know why that company stopped producing them. We don't know why they started making them that way in the first place. We know they were experimenting with head caps, with different materials, with different angles. Look at how different. So if I hold these both straight, look at how different. Look how flat this one sits and look how upper this is. So you tilt the razor like this to shave, whereas this one you don't have to. I mean, this one is a lot less angle ink. This is just a different shave all together. And we don't really know why that was done, how it was done. Wow, really comfortable, very close shave, really nice. I mean, even around my ears, yeah, really good shave. Jim, thank you so much, and what a shave it was. It was awesome. Thank you guys again as well for joining me today. Oh, I'm thrilled. It was really fun, and a huge shout out again to Body for making this brush come over to my side of things and Oh, it's still ready to go. I'm so excited. I think this is ready for a full rest of a face and a body shave. Awesome. That 30 mil knot. Look how big. I just can't get over it. It was an awesome shave. What a fun opportunity to get to use some new gear. Thanks, guys, for joining me. I'll catch you guys in the next Subi Shaves video. Subs out.